Hello, my name is Davy Clark from New Leaf Coaching. I help career changers find meaningful work in ethical careers. Today, I'm going to talk about something very practical, how you're actually going to get stuff done. Um, this can apply to stuff that's not related to career change, but it is a particular challenge for career changers because the only discipline is set by yourself. There's no external deadlines, uh, unless you have a job application to do. But motivating yourself to make things happen and get things going can be very challenging and people often procrastinate. In fact, this has come up a lot in the last few weeks, both for myself to get things done in my business and for a number of my clients. So whether you are doing job applications or you are running your own business, maybe an ethical enterprise of some kind, these tricks and tips will apply to you and should help you keep some momentum going so you can actually make your career change a reality. So the core of the idea today is that you look at your natural patterns, the natural flow of your energy levels and your working style. A lot of people find they have similar working patterns, but you should look at what really works for you. But let me talk you through what works for a lot of people. First of all, most people find they've got some energy in the morning. They're more likely to be able to get things done, especially things that are challenging or creative, that involve writing, or that involve sitting down and concentrating for a longer period of time. So, for example, you might update your CV, um, fill in a job application, you might do some business planning, you might write a document of some kind in that time. Um, if you set yourself a schedule where you say, I'm going to start at 9 o'clock, and you sit down and you don't do anything else until you've done a specific amount of time on that, maybe an hour and a half. Don't go longer than an hour and a half because you physically need to have a break. Look at your energy levels and work out what the pattern is for you. The other thing is it's very easy, I've done it and I'm sure you have too, it's very easy to get sucked in with distractions, social media, email, anything that's internet connected, um, or even things like tidying up. You know, suddenly so many of us when we've got an important job to do end up tidying our house. Not that the tidying doesn't need to happen, but this isn't the time to do it. So make sure you schedule that stuff in later in the day when your energy levels are different. So look at emails after lunch. Actually give yourself a rule that you shouldn't look at social media or emails or internet until you've done that thing that you know you're putting off. Something else you should know is that we often underestimate how long a task will take. In fact, psychologists even have a term for it. They call it the planning fallacy. When we think we know, ah, oh, doing this CV, that'll take me an hour. Well, almost certainly you've underestimated how long that will take. But interestingly, research also shows that if we estimate how long somebody else would take, take to do something, we're more likely to be accurate. So think about a good friend or a colleague, how long would it take them to do this? And then use that timing for yourself, or maybe double the time that you allow yourself to do something. If that means that you're done early, great. Not a problem at all. But at least you feel a sense of achievement that you've done something. So let's just do a really quick recap. Look at the natural flows of your energy levels. Do the things that you're putting off the hard, concentrated work in the morning when you've got high energy levels, unless that's not your highest peak. Put off distracting work, distracting activities that involve internet connections or doing stuff with other people till the afternoon whenever possible. Make sure, I haven't said this one before, but make sure you put some exercise into the day if possible and make sure you have break times and times to breathe. And Plan yourself out a regular schedule like this that allows you to get things done, but let yourself off the hook if you overestimate quite how much you're going to get done so quickly, because the planning fallacy is real for all of us. You don't have to make this complicated. Here's mine. A little bit of a scribble on a piece of paper. It's 
pretty simple, uh, day of the week, what I'm going to do at different times, um, when I'm going to do writing, when I'm going to see clients and so on. Do your equivalent and see how much more you can get done and how much less you're going to procrastinate. That's the key to making your career change a reality. There are more videos all about different aspects of career change at my website www.mynewleaf.co.uk Do take a look there and until next time, good luck.